Mm-hmm. Right. Um, what is it like, I guess, <clears throat> you've seen the world change quite a bit, I think, probably over the last couple of decades, and um, h- how has that affected just um, yourself as a musician? Um, I mean, something that we're always talking about now um, in our editorial meetings and there's discussion online and different publications is if it's in, in like the age of Trump and in this world that we are in now is do musicians with platforms or like artists have a responsibility to speak out or say things about that and I'm just curious as you've seen I mean especially um, coming from your perspective in England what has happened there in the last mm-hmm. two years you know what like do you have a feeling that you should use your platform for something or um, or is that not something that musicians should be held accountable for? And it, d- it depends how you feel as an individual. Mm-hmm. Me, personally, I'll say this, but, but I, I, if you're a guy, you're strapping on a guitar these days, you're almost obliged to write about the news. Yeah. Now, I, that's not me. Yeah. That is not me. I think what I'm doing is almost revolutionary in in this day and age, which is trying to squeeze as much joy out of a song as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, The trouble with protest songs or that kind of thing is they're usually not very good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're usually, they're almost certainly, without fail, not very memorable. And, um, but I guess if that's your thing, that's your thing. It's not my thing. Right. It's not my thing. And, uh, I think too much is said. I can't speak for this country. Donald Trump doesn't affect my life. So I mean, it affects the environment a little tiny bit for my kids. But mm-hmm. uh, the, the, the rest of it, I'm not interested in. In England, the Brexit thing is just like I can't believe there's so much noise about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of like it was put to the people as a vote. The people voted. That's democracy. Mm-hmm. Fucking get over it. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't vote because I didn't think we should have been given the vote in the first place because mm-hmm. as ordinary members of the public, how the fuck are you qualified to talk about the breakup of this, the oldest continent in the fucking world? Yeah. Uh, so, and then the people trying to get the vote overturned, they used to call that fascism, <laughs> right? Yeah. But they don't call it fascism anymore, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because they're fucking right on. Mm-hmm. Now. Personally, I don't think we should have left the, mm. the, the, uh, the union because I feel right at the time of it happening, we turned our back on the French. We were going through some like dark terrorist shit. But it's happened now. It was a, it was a, it was a, a legal vote. Fucking get on, get it done. Let's move mm-hmm. on. Yeah. That's my view on it all. Yeah, that no, makes sense. Do you feel like, th- I mean, something that 